The stage is all set to welcome President Barack Obama and the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama, who arrive in New Delhi on the 25th of January for a three-day visit. He will be the first American president to be the chief guest at the 66th Republic Day Parade. According to the program released by the Ministry of External Affairs, President Obama will be accompanied by the First Lady and a high-level delegation from Pentagon and White House and is expected to arrive in New Delhi at 10 a.m. on Sunday. He will be received ceremonially at the Rashtrapati Bhavan and will pay homage at the Rajkat. Bilateral discussions are scheduled at the Hyderabad House between the Prime Minister and President Obama. This will be followed by a luncheon hosted by Prime Minister Modi for President Obama and his delegation during which there will be delegation level talks too. We have scheduled bilateral discussions at the Hyderabad House between Prime Minister and President Obama. These bilateral discussions will be a, in a restricted format and after that they will be followed by a luncheon hosted by Prime Minister for President Obama and his delegation during which they will be delegation level discussions too. In the evening, President Obama will meet President Pranab Mukherjee at the Rashtrapati Bhavan, followed by a banquet for the visiting dignitary. On the 26th of January, President Obama will be the chief guest at the Republic Day function, after which he will also attend the at-home reception of the President. Prime Minister and President Obama will address a business event during the course of the afternoon. On 27th of January, President Obama is expected to address a select gathering in the morning. The First Lady and the President are also expected to visit Agra before their departure from New Delhi. There are hopes of a positive outcome in talks between the two leaders in areas like defense, energy, education, business and trade. The Ministry of External Affairs termed the visit of the US President as a culmination of qualitative reinvigoration of ties between the two countries. We see the visit of President Obama to India as strengthening, as strengthening our ties across the full breadth of our full spectrum relationship. Ties between our governments, ties between our people and ties between our institutions. According to the Foreign Ministry, critical issues like defense, security, tackling terror and the situation in bordering areas like Afghanistan and Pakistan will come up for discussion. India and the US negotiators have been making progress in trying to resolve differences in operationalizing the landmark civil nuclear deal ahead of President Barack Obama's arrival. Negotiators are working together in a collaborative manner in London. This is the third time the contact group which was set by the Prime Minister and the US President is meeting in the last nearly 45 days. The group is discussing administrative arrangements on how to actualize India's quest for membership of the nuclear suppliers group and also issues related to clarification and understanding of India's nuclear liability regime. There is hope of positive outcome in areas of space security and cyber security as well. U.S. President Barack Obama and Prime Minister Modi are likely to sign the agreement for a new framework for defense cooperation when Obama visits Delhi this Republic Day. This includes the Defense Trade and Technology Initiative, which will enable the two countries to co-develop and co-produce military hardware. Although the U.S. has replaced Russia as the largest arms seller to India in 2013, India is wary of just buying off the shelf. Meanwhile, the U.S. has described the upcoming visit of President Barack Obama as a seminal moment for bilateral ties that sends a very important message to the world about the commitment of the two countries to realize the extraordinary potential of their relationship, stating that the trip has come at a time when the U.S. has a growing agenda with India. U.S. National Deputy Security Advisor Ben Rhodes said that the U.S. is hopeful that the chemistry between the President and Prime Minister Narendra Modi and their personal relationship can lead to positive outcomes for both countries. DD News.